Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this morning with Charlie and Fred and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your dog's ability to understand and respond to his on-leash obedience commands. The first thing that we're going to take a moment to introduce is the training equipment that we're using. We're using a regular six-foot web training leash and Fred keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give the correction and Charlie is very sensitive to correction so the correction is a little tug and let go on his little slip collar. He's been fitted with his very own training collar and he's going to be coming home with that and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now if you notice Charlie's sitting very nicely at Fred's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for us is healing. Charlie. The command is Charlie heal and at this point Charlie's job is to stay even with Fred's left leg not forging ahead or lagging behind and each time that Fred stops his feet Charlie's been taught to sit automatically and wait for his next command. So when you're out walking on the street with him he should be paying closer attention to you. If you notice that he's looking up at Fred, he's looking for direction and which, with these terriers they need a leader. So you're going to be his leader so that he's not feeling fearful on the street. He's also been out on field trips here at the school so that we have taught him that he doesn't need to be fearful on the street. The next exercise that Fred's going to demonstrate for you is the stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. These stationary exercises should be practiced indoors as well as outdoors because they help to develop self-control and maturity. When Fred returns back to his dog, as an additional distraction, he walks all the way around him. Charlie knows to remain seated until he gets a little pat for praise and another command and Fred takes off healing with him again. Sometimes he takes some encouragement to get him going up and stay with you and you can talk to him, keep him focused and motivated. There you go, good boy Charlie. <laughs> nice automatic sit. Fred leaves him in another stay. We, get, we supply you with this video so that you can practice with it at home. This time, instead of returning back to his dog, Fred will call him. This is the recall or the come on command. This is an important exercise, so it's always, you know, happy. He comes right in front and sits, and that stops him from coming and jumping all over you. And they're going to set up to new, do another recall. Charlie's got all the terrier in the world in him. He wasn't easy. He was a little challenging. But as you can see, he's doing very well. He comes right in front and sits, looks up at Fred. Perfect. Back to heel and back sitting. And all of our exercises start and stop at heel position. And like I said, you can practice indoors as well as outdoors. Wherever you want good behavior is where you should practice with your dog right in your living room. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with your dog seated at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and then stay. Your long sit stay is from one minute working up to three. Your long down stay is for three minutes working up to five. Again, this exercise helps to develop self-control, focus, and maturity. When Fred returns back to him, again, he will walk all the way around him as an additional distraction, and Charlie knows not to get up until he gets praised and another command. And they will demonstrate that down <laughs> from a heel position one more time. Charlie's like, oh, I'm over this. So he's seated, down, stay. 
Very good. Now if you can hear the motorcycles in the distance, this is probably the worst day in the world to try to video. Now that's a perfect example of what to do when your dog breaks a, a command. No and repeat the command. And he went right back down, he knew. This time Fred will call him out of that exercise. Praises him on the way in. Back to heel and back sitting. Perfect. Very good. And now we're going to demonstrate the down from a distance, which is a little bit harder exercise because you're not right next to the dog to enforce it. Fred's going to leave him in a sit okay. stay. This is the only time that you'll see Fred use his right hand to give the command. Now. <laughs> there you go. Very nicely done. Now we've demonstrated for you his heel, his automatic sit, his stay, his down, his down from a distance, and his come. These are the exercises that you're going to be practicing with Charlie, both indoors and outdoors, so that you, when you need the commands, they're fresh in his mind. He is adorable. We've enjoyed having him, and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.